brackets. Let's hope they do. Meanwhile, this is called the breathalyzer equalizer. This is a new product that promises to help drivers avoid testing drunk by reducing the amount of alcohol residue in their mouth. That's not all. The equalizer is being advertised in front of bars on big billboards, prompting critics to say it's a way for drunk drivers to try to beat the system. Joining us for a fair and balanced debate about this is criminal defense attorney Larry Cohn and Georgia's state director of Mothers Against Drunk Driving, Barry Martin. Gentlemen, good morning. Good morning, Allison. Good morning, Allison. Barry, you think this product is dangerous. Why? Well, clearly it's dangerous. We lose 10,000 people every year to drunk drivers. Another 345,000 are injured by drunk drivers. And you're, you've got a product here that might give someone who would think twice about driving drunk that little bit of extra courage to risk it. That makes it a dangerous product. Larry, you support this product. What do you think? Is it not dangerous? First off, I'm not, I'm not affiliated with the product. But uh, secondly, the product won't prevent any signs of impairment. It's not going to lower somebody's blood alcohol. Simply it'll lower what is the residual effect of a exactly. drink in someone's mouth. The only thing that'll lower someone's alcohol level is time. And if anyone can come up with a product that'll uh, sober people up, I'm in. I'll invest. <laughs> Meanwhile, let, let's hear what the company itself says about this product. They say it's actually to protect sober drivers. Here's their statement. We support law enforcement and do not condone drunk driving. Our goal is to improve the accuracy in roadside breath testing. Our billboard reminds people to drink responsibly. Barry, their point is that sometimes people get false positives from just alcohol residue in their mouth, and this helps that. Sure. Uh, residual mouth alcohol can affect a breath test. The problem is with the field sobriety protocols, you're going to have a horizontal gaze test first. You're going to have some divided attention tests after that. That's the stand, you know, walk in a line, turn around and come back, stand on one leg. And, and, and if you fail those three tests, then the arresting officer will give you that uh, breathalyzer test. Well, NHTSA will tell us that residual mouth alcohol can last up to 20 minutes. Well, by the time you've been pulled over, they've run your license, they've given you three physical tests, that residual mouth alcohol is gone. That makes this product completely unnecessary. Oh, Larry, uh, I want to bring Larry the here fact quickly. Just, just one second, because Larry, your law firm uh, specializes in helping people who have been accused of DWI. Do you find there are often these false positives? Is that a big problem? Well, any breath test manufacturer would tell you that mouth alcohol has always been a problem with breath testing. And police officers are trained not to rely solely on the breath test in the field. Um, that's why at the station the breath tests are designed to be a little bit more accurate. And there still always have been problems with mouth alcohol. It can lead to a higher than uh, a true somebody's true alcohol level. It may show a higher level of alcohol than actually is in somebody's body. And if you're foolish enough to believe that this product is going to get you out of the DUI, you probably deserve to be cited with the DUI. So Barry, your biggest fear is that this will give people, what, false confidence to get behind a wheel? Oh sure, it's going to give them, uh, you know, you're sitting there at the bar and you're, you're having a drink and you look down at the end of the bar and here's this product, you're going to say, hey, this says I can beat the DUI. And the fact of the matter is you can't beat the DUI. If you have zero residual mouth alcohol, a breath test will still pick up the mouth alcohol if you are drunk. Or excuse me, the alcohol that's in your body if you are drunk. And, and Larry, you're not concerned about that being a byproduct of this? Look, if you keep this product in your car or you're caught with this product, you're going to be the laughing stock of the police force and every prosecutor and judge in court. Everyone would know that you were trying to mask the signs for use of alcohol. Uh, it, it, again, this product is not going to sober you up, and I don't believe that people go out with the intention that I'm going to go out and drink as much as I can, I'll take the product and I'll be fine. I think that uh, is a, a foolish, foolish thought. Gotcha. Uh, Barry, well, Martin, I, I Larry, agree. I think... Go, go ahead, last word. I was going to say... I, I agree. I think what it's going to do is have that person who would have thought twice about it maybe take the chance, and that's where the risk is. All right. Well, we'd love to hear from our viewers as well. Larry Cohn, Barry Martin, thanks so much for debating it. Thank you, Alice. Thank you, Alice. All right. Still ahead. She's the longest.